I think the biggest struggle of Alameda is just that, you know, it has your old school small town feel. Not too many things change around here. It's a whole bunch of mom and pop shops. They're really against, I guess you could say commercialization, but at the same time, the streetwear culture doesn't necessarily fit in with that. My name is Devin Perez. I'm the manager here at District Footwear on the island of Alameda. Welcome to the district. District was founded in 2005 by Matt Wong and his high school friend. The name District came about, you know, many of our favorite cities are big cities and actually have a lot of smaller districts within them. Fashion is very popular. Alameda being a very conservative, family-friendly, small town feel, trying to bring the big city culture of streetwear to our small town of Alameda. Basically, the interior of the shop, we wanted to keep a real crisp, clean look, but there are certain aspects that might be a little overlooked or that people don't know. All the furniture in the store was made from reclaimed wood. One of my favorite pieces and a really unique piece in the store is this window display that we use just to display shoes for those who are walking by or driving by. If you look real closely, it's actually made out of um, high school gym bleachers. They were actually reclaimed from Richmond High School. That's the high school in the movie Coach Carter. We get a lot of compliments on here. Everything's custom made. Really unique part about this is you could actually see the bark from the wood from the tree that it was made from. I actually went to a private school. Wearing uniforms, the only way for you to stand out is what's on your feet. You want to stand out, that's the only way. Being a high school kid in Alameda, you've got to kind of figure out how to be different. This is a four mile city. There's actually three high schools in those four miles. You got to really figure out how to dress to stand out amongst all the other kids. The hundreds, in a way, I kind of consider them to be some sort of like a gateway into the streetwear community, myself included. My first streetwear brand that really drew my attention was the hundreds. I see it myself, the kid that comes in that just wants to get into that streetwear game, but yet a older, more conservative person wants to pick something up, then they could go to more of their crisp, clean, cut and sew pieces, minimal branding. And that kind of relates to us because we have to keep products in our store for everybody. 15 or 51, we definitely have something for you. We definitely want to just lace everybody up pretty much, no matter who they are and what what they're into. Alameda in the early 1900s featured a theme park called Neptune Beach. It had a roller coaster. The hundreds bike that came out a few years ago. When pictures hit the blogs, we just really liked it. We thought it was real dope. They came through and they sent us one, have it displayed and people just love it. Being here in Alameda, the support here is really big towards, you know, coming here to get your clothes rather than, you know, going to your malls or, or even going online. We did try and replicate our success in another city in the Bay Area. It's definitely a lot different than Alameda. The local support in geographic insulation just really wasn't there. The lack of success of another store and, and bringing everything back here really solidified how much Alameda really means and how big of a part Alameda had to our success as a store. To me, Alameda is a whole different world in itself. It's a four mile long island, but the second you go through that tunnel or cross that bridge, everyone's really friendly, everyone has a smile on their face, you know, no one's walking around with a sour look. That's why Alameda is such a great place. San Diego is a difficult market. It's a beautiful city, but some say that we're LA's ugly sister, especially with fashion. This is a transplant city, but a lot of people aren't from here. So people coming.